Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. You're watching Tesla Time News. Bite-sized. On Now You Know. All right, Jesse, you've been on the show for a while. You, you know everything there is to know about EVs, yeah. I think. Um, so I think it's time for you to take a pop quiz. Ready? Yes. All right. Do you believe that electric cars still run on gasoline? Yes. Do you... Okay. Uh, do you think that electric cars have towing capacity? Uh, no. All right. Uh, let's go for an easy one. Do electric cars work in hot or cold conditions? Uh, they, they do not work. They do not work in hot or cold conditions. No. Okay. So I guess the only good news out of this whole thing is that you answered basically the way most Americans have answered this quiz. This was a quiz given out by Ford uh -huh. to find out if their customers truly understand electric cars. And basically, most of them failed. So 42% of Americans said they believe that electric cars still run on gasoline. 42% of Americans. <laughs> okay. 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 67% said that electric vehicles have no towing capacity. And 80% said electric vehicles don't work in hot or cold conditions. <sighs> okay. So, all jokes aside, I think that this is, uh, this is definitely an important indicator because... Um, if you're watching the show, and this is not your first show, I think that you're pretty well aware how blatantly obvious all of these things are. If right. you have had any interaction with an electric vehicle before, you you've basically have learned these things. Why did so many Americans get it wrong? It's because most Americans have never experienced an electric car before, and the only electric car that they have ever really heard of besides Tesla, and Tesla's in its own weird category where they're like, it's... It's like a rich person's car, so I'm not even going to think about it, um, is, an, is a Nissan Leaf. That's the only car that everyone knows was electric because they gave it a name called Leaf, and they made it look like this when it first came out. Right. And so they thought, oh, that is what all electric cars are. They are small batteried, uh, low power, you know, they're just for the hippies, and that's all they think about them. I drove a Leaf for two years. And I love it. It's a great car, but it is not a car for everyone. And it is not the kind of car that you can just be like, check it out. EVs, they're, they're the, the future. People are going to go like, I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah. Like, you really have to be committed to this. On the other hand, you have Tesla. Just about any Tesla you can find, put anyone in that car and they're going to go, oh, oh, I get it. It's doable. It's livable. You're like, oh, I, I see that I have a range, but it's enough range for me to go to work and back and then to the grocery store and then to the hairstylist and then, you know, wherever else I need to go that day, come home, plug in. Next morning, it's fully charged. And as we're going to see in the Patreon bonus stories, Ford is working really hard right now to educate customers on EVs because they're actually going to get, start getting into that business. Yes. All right. So we've talked about this many times on the show about Jeffrey Don. He's one of Tesla's most senior battery researchers. Now, according to Electrek, Don and his lab have released test results on a new lithium ion battery chemistry that includes a next gen single crystal nickel manganese cobalt oxide cathode and a new advanced electrolyte. Now, why is that big news? So I think it's because the, the flux capacitor gives it more range for the the flux capacitor, the, the, quad, the quad reducer, the flux capacitor. I don't know. I mean, what? I don't, what, what am I supposed to do with single crystal nickel magnes cobalt oxide cathode? Yeah, no, I know. That's, that's, that, that's kind of word soup that goes into my ears and my head goes, I don't want to, I don't want to hear this. Well, this was in the report. Don said, we conclude that cells of this type should be able to power an electric vehicle for over 1.6 million kilometers. That's 1 million miles and last at least two decades in grid energy storage. So I think the key takeaway there is the 1 million miles part. That's huge. Okay, so whatever scientific wizardry they've been doing over at Tesla has been able to give a 1 million mile battery. This is, I mean, that's amazing. A million mile battery. Right. That's, uh, I mean, Im imagine making a million mile engine on yeah. a car, like where you don't have to touch it, you don't have to replace any of the bits well, or the that's bobs the, that's in Well, that's the it. Tesla motor right now. Right, I mean, that's true, right. The motors can, can last a million miles. If you had the battery last a million miles, there's not too much else you need to replace. There's the tires, the windshield wiper fluid. And probably the seats are going to wear out long before that. <laughs> the steering right. wheel and the, and the gas pedal. No, I mean, this is falling into Elon's plan. I mean, he wants a million mile car because a robo taxi is the kind of car that's going to have to go about a million miles during its 11 year lifetime. So, I mean, I think we were talking, I think it was on the Patreon bonus story the other day. We were talking about how Ford was saying that they were going to be crushing cars like every three years because... 
Oh, they were just going to rack Wear up the out. mileage, and yeah. it would be worn out. You need to crush them, make new cars. Yeah, it's not the way Tesla's thinking about it. No, they want cars to last. Long-lasting cars. They last longer than the cars last today, and they're going to be doing a million miles. Remember a couple weeks ago, we talked about Solar Foods. They're a company that's making food out of thin air. Yeah, out of air and solar power. And, yep, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, yep, things that you get in air. It's the and, air. And water, right. right. Well, That's what I said. When we reported it, it sounded too good to be true. So I reached out to the CEO of the company, and we got an interview with them, Dr. Pasi Vanika. So take a look at a little excerpt here. Dr. Vanika, thank you for being with me. Can you explain, how does your company make food out of thin air? One of the background, key backgrounds, what we had here is that uh, myself, as, as the co-founder, uh, now CTO in Solar Foods, uh, Dr. Juha Pekka Pitkan, who were scientists uh, in, in our National Research Institute, uh, myself, I was in charge of a single largest renewable energy research program what we had in uh, in our National Research Institute that corresponds something like NREL in the U.S. Um, and we had two key findings. One was that electricity is the new primary energy. So if we want to make a carbon neutral future for the energy system, um, electricity is the new primary energy, whether it's nuclear renewables, but you need to electrify transport, heating, cooling, industrial processes instead of burning. And in this kind of future, then you have a, uh, we had another finding, which was that if you leave fossils in the ground, you need coal, uh, leave coal, oil and gas in the ground, uh, you could replace this carbon for materials and fuels, even medicine, by, by capturing carbon dioxide from the air. And actually, we made fuels from the air as well. But it was a major finding after these two things. And it kind of depressing uh, uh, for me to find out that even if we would do all this, install all the technologies that we were researching and, and, and reinvesting a whole energy system, uh, it's not good enough to comply with the Paris Climate Accord or, or what the IPCC is declaring we would need to do or change the things, what, what is basically happening in the Amazon now, now that there seems to be some burns around because uh, about one quarter of the greenhouse gas footprint due human action is due to what we eat and not from the energy sector at all. So with this background, it's quite easy to understand that we thought that you're allowed to have air and electricity and could you turn that for example instead of fuels which is a simple molecule to something very complex like proteins and amino acids and you could do that you have Pekka had a solution for that and a very convenient a factory to to produce this is actually a living cell. This guy's legit. This is really happening in Finland right now. They are making food out of thin air. And we've got a whole interview that you can check out with him. It's coming out on Thursday on the show. So if you're interested at in all about making food out of thin air, I urge you to watch it. Speaking of solar, we told you about Tesla's latest solar offering a couple weeks ago, renting solar panels from Tesla. They'll come out and install solar on your roof for no upfront costs. You just pay as low as 50 bucks a month rental fee for a small 3.8 kilowatt system that produces an average of nine to 12 kilowatt hours per day, and it will reduce your electric bill. Now, previously Tesla said they would have charged $1,500 to remove the system from your roof. Well, now Tesla has updated the contract. They say system removal, if the system needs to be removed for any reason, such as your cancellation or for roof repairs, you agree to give Tesla reasonable access to your home to remove the system at Tesla's convenience and availability. Tesla will remove the system at no cost to you. Tesla or one of our subcontractors will patch and seal all roof penetrations associated with removal of the system. Tesla shall have no obligation to repair any ordinary wear and tear on the home or to provide any replacement parts. So it doesn't sound like it's going to be like a brand new spanking roof. They're going to just plug holes, right. but they'll come take it off for free. Before, there was this $1,500 removal fee. Now, yep. the only reason you'd need to remove the panels from your roof is pretty much just for roof repair right yep. it's not like they're gonna put them up and you're gonna be like oh i don't like i don't like the color you know you're gonna you're gonna be like oh we need to put a new roof on the house it's leaking right um we need to fix the roof of the house right. tesla please remove the solar panels right? right that's the that's the only reason you're gonna want to do it because right. you're not just gonna be like ah oh, i don't want to i don't want to do that anymore because it's actually going to save you it's going to make you more money then you're going to be renting them out to Tesla. Exactly. For. I mean, take a look at Elon's latest tweet. Without the removal fee, Tesla Solar is unequivocally a guaranteed instant money printer producing $300 to $1,000 per year in after-tax income. You know, you pass all those signs on the side of the road that are like, hey, you want to make instant cash with no labor at all? <laughs> 
get rich quick. This is that. <laughs> this is that, except it actually uses power from the sun. And and it prints money. Right. It just, it, it just, there's just money coming out of the solar panels. <laughs> I mean, that's, it's just crazy. My only question here is yeah, yeah. the SEC, they jump down Elon's throat every time he says something about Tesla. Here he said that it's an instant money printer. I think the SEC should probably contact him and go, mm, Mr. Musk, I don't think you should say that. <laughs> it's not an instant money printer. Uh, but maybe unequivocally <laughs> w- protects him in some way by saying unequivocally. Uh, okay. No, that that doesn't make no. Nope, <laughs> no, nope. that logic doesn't carry <laughs> forth. Yeah, it's funny what the SEC wants to uh, attack him for. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode of Tesla Time News Bite Sized. Uh, y- you did miss a few things. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, Tesla Time News is a long show. It's got full, just jam packed full of news. So if you want to see the whole thing, uh, go go watch it. And we've got all the other episodes from three years ago. You, right. You could get yourselves really up on everything EV and sustainable by watching those, by the way. But if you're short on time, I don't even know why you're watching this part of the video. (laughs) Now you know. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.